everyone, it's Amber, and thank you so much for joining me today in another craft fair series video. I hope everybody's doing well and enjoying fall so far. We're gonna do a little fall project today because my craft fair happens to be in the beginning of November and people are looking for like Thanksgiving treats and favors. So these are my cozy fall drink favors and they're so adorable. So here's what it looks like. I made a cute little bag topper as well. Pumpkin spice hot cocoa. One of these apple caramel um, suckers that you can like stir your tea with. And here's the pumpkin spice chai tea. And it is just so cute. And I put it all in a cute paper bag. Let me show you what that looks like. So I made these cute paper bag pockets and you've seen me make these before um, on my channel. They look like little library pockets. And so I made a bunch of these. And so I'm gonna be making a bunch more of these favors. I just have to pick up some more of this hot cocoa. But these are the cute little favors and I, and I wanted to add a lot to it to make it look like a really nice gift. So that's why I packaged them and put a little bag topper and a ribbon here and then I put seam binding up here. So I'm gonna go over all the details and show you how to make this. So the way I made these is you don't have to tear off the pretty bag topper. Whoever gets it can just open the bottom right here and slip this out. So here's what it looks like. It is so adorable. So up here is the hot cocoa. And then, of course, the pumpkin spice tea right here. Of course, here's the sucker. I'm not going to take it out because I did put a little glue so it won't fall out. And then there's the back. And I just added this cute gingham ribbon. And then for the bag, it was super easy. So let me show you how easy it is to make these and you're gonna wanna make so many of them. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here are the basic items that I'm gonna be using. And for this project, I'm not using a specific paper pad or paper collection. I'm actually using my scraps in my fall scrap bin. So I have a container of all of my fall scraps. This is just a few of them. And I figured I'd go through this and I figured that this is the perfect project to try to use up my scraps. So these are the bags that I'm gonna be using and these are from Hobby Lobby. These aren't in like the paper crafting section. These are actually in the party section like with the wrapping paper and the little party favors and things like that. So see right here it says party. So these are actually really inexpensive. They were $1.99 plus if you go when they're 40% off you get 16 bags in here for such a great price. So we're gonna be using these, and these bags measure three and one quarter by about seven inches, but just know you can adapt this to any size of the mini bags that you have. And of course, I'm gonna be using the Swiss Miss Pumpkin Spice. I got these at Target, and you get eight in a pack. I can't remember how much they were, but I will try to link them below for you. And then I got these pumpkin spice chai at Target also. So you can use any type of tea for this. You don't have to use the pumpkin, but just make sure that the tea you get is individually wrapped. And so this is perfect because they're all individually wrapped and they're like orange and white and black. So cute. So we all know what these are. These are so nostalgic. These are the caramel apple pops and they're by the Tootsie Roll brand. These are so delicious. So I like to stick these in my apple cider pockets that I used to make, but even though we're not doing that, they're still good to like stir your tea or your hot cocoa. So I'm super excited. We're gonna be using these and you can get these at Target, Walmart. Um, my husband picked these up for me at the grocery store, but you can get them pretty much anywhere right now because of Halloween and I think they also like sell them year round, so. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just gonna use one of these paper bags that I just showed you. And the first thing we're gonna do is, we're just gonna get this a little bit prepped. This is the back of the paper bag, this is the front. So what we're gonna do is this little flappy part right here, you're gonna take to where the top of that flap is and just fold it up like this. 
I've done this a million times on my channel, so I'm sure you guys already know how to do it. But for those who haven't seen, just take that little flap and, and fold it up and just use your bone folder to help with the creases. And what we're gonna be doing is covering this with paper, this, and that. And I need to go through my scraps to get the paper I wanna use and cut it down to size. So for this piece right here, you need a piece of scrapbook paper that measures three by two. To mat the front piece here, you need a piece that measures three by three and three quarters. And then we're gonna do the back, and that piece measures three by four and a half. And then on these ones that I showed you here, the little bag topper measures four and one eighth by three. So let's go through the scraps and get our paper cut down. So I'm first gonna start with a piece that we need for the back, which is the three by four and a half. I think this one's really cool. It's like these wood um, pieces. So this one's gonna measure three inches across by four and a half long. So I'm going to do the three inch cut first. By four and a half. So there we go, that's for that side. And then let's do this piece right here. So that's going to measure three by three and three quarters. So I'll just look through my scraps. I really like this one. Let's do the three inch cut first by three and three quarters. Okay, so now we have that piece all ready to go right here. And then let's do the little pocket page. So that one measures three by two. And just keep in mind that it's gonna go right below this piece, so you kinda want it to coordinate. I think this flower page would look super pretty right there three inches and by two. So that's gonna go right there. So the last piece again is that bag topper. I found this really pretty plaid. Let me see how that would look. I think it'll look good. And pattern on pattern, I love it. It's eclectic and whimsical. So that needs to measure four and one eighth by three, three inches. So that makes me really happy. And I'm gonna put this aside for the bag topper. Now keep in mind that I'm giving you dimensions for the clear bags that I'm using. I'm gonna also show you here in just a second uh, what clear bags I'm using and I'm gonna link them below. So they fit these perfectly and this is the perfect dimension for the bag topper. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is just get the back matted. So for this project, I'm just using my cute little tape runner from scrapbook.com. I'll link this one below. I really like it. So I'm just gonna add the adhesive to this cute little piece for the back. Just make sure you get all the edges and a little bit in the middle. So just know that there's gonna be a border all the way around. Um, so just glue this on as even as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. These are just cute little treats that will probably get thrown away once the cocoa and the tea are taken out. But I love doing like a really cute and beautiful presentation for the craft fair and even for gifts. If you're making these for a tea party or your neighbors or teachers or something, um, people at church, coworkers, I think the presentation is gonna mean so much. Okay, so we've got the back all done. So now I'm just gonna flip this down and we're gonna mat the front page. So that's where this three by three and three quarters piece comes in. And it's gonna go right there and then this is gonna go over it so um, we've matted a little bit up from where this is gonna be covered. So I'm just gonna do the same thing and add my adhesive. And again, there's gonna be a little border so just glue that down. And then what we need to do is we already folded this up. We just need to glue these two edges down. So you know me, I'm gonna use wet glue because if we use the roller adhesive, uh, the T might get stuck in there if it hits the tape. So this is gonna dry clear 
and it's really strong so this is just my little precision bottle full of this PVA glue right here and it works really good so I'll link everything below that I'm using these little bottles are like so handy because they have that stainless steel tip and so it's really easy to get your glue in a really nice thin bead so now that you have glue on the two sides just go ahead and lay it down and you're going to want to press this down for a few minutes and all we need to do is mat this cute little pocket right here so I did a video um, where I made these and these are little library pockets don't they look like a library pocket um, so I did a video on that with bookmarks up here. I'll link it below. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my hot cocoa and my tea and my little apple sucker. And let me show you what I did with the hot cocoa to get it a little bit prepped. So when you take these out of the box, they're kind of like stuck together like this. So I just carefully separate them. And this looks a little messy. So plus, when you go to stick this in here, it's a little bit too wide. So this is what I do, and I already got this one prepped. But what you're gonna do is just ever so carefully, just take some scissors, and you're gonna just trim a sliver off of this edge. Just make sure you don't cut through the seal because you don't want like the hot cocoa to come out. So I just clean up that edge, and then over here, I just do the same thing just to even those out. And now, not only does it look a lot nicer, but it now fits in our little pocket. What we're gonna do before we stick it in the pocket is, do you see this little flap up here? I'm just gonna fold that down like this. So I just folded it down like that. So what you're gonna do is just take a little strip of glue and kind of shake the cocoa down and just kind of glue that down. So if you shake the cocoa down a little more, you'll be able to actually fold this down one more time. So that's what we're gonna do. I know it feels weird right now, but it'll make sense once we get everything done. So put the adhesive on there and fold it down one more time. And it doesn't matter because whoever uses this is just gonna tear it open and use it anyways. So we just did a double fold down and now this is what we're left with. What I'm gonna do is take my bag and with these paper bags, as you know, there's a little gusset here so that means there's two slots we're gonna be putting this in the front slot so I'm just gonna take it and slip it right into there and I like to slip it all the way down until you can see the orange Swiss Miss I think that looks so adorable I don't want it to not show that because I want them to see what they're getting obviously and it's far enough down that it's not gonna like come out so now that we have that in there, it's like nice and neat and tidy. You're gonna take your pumpkin spice chai and it's gonna be a pretty tight fit, so that's good because you wanna just push it down to where you can still see the pumpkin spice chai. So now that we have those in there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be sticking our little sucker in here, but before we do that, just in this upper right hand corner, I'm just gonna lay a little bit of adhesive and I'm gonna show you a close up of this. Do you see where I put that glue? It's just right there. So you're gonna do that for a reason because you're gonna take your cute little sucker and find like the flattest side and that's gonna be the back. So you're gonna stick this in the front pocket and it's gonna be laying right there where that glue is. Just give it like a little push. So don't push it too hard to where it breaks or you puncture the hot cocoa, but just press it down so it kinda sticks and now it's not really glued on there like great but now it's not gonna like fall out of the pocket so here is our cute little pouch you can totally stop right here because it's absolutely adorable already here's a close-up this is so cute it's the nicest little goodie ever but we're gonna doll it up even more so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this gingham ribbon. You can use any skinny ribbon for this. Um, you can get this at pretty much any craft store. You can use any color you want. I've got this burnt orange color. 
And I'm just going to cut 20 inches of this. I'm going to put it in the back like this and just tie a little bow right near that top fold of the pocket down here. And it's that easy. So isn't that bow super cute? I love how it turned out. It looks so adorable. But I'm gonna package this up even more. This is a course from clearbags.com. I'm gonna link the exact one below. These measure four and a quarter by six and one eighth. And these are the clear adhesive sleeves. So this is how we're gonna package this. What you're gonna do is just stick this entire thing in to where the top is gonna be at that closed end. So I'm just gonna stick that in there. So you're not gonna take it to the very top. What you're gonna do is just turn this over and find where the back of the bag meets the edge of your cute little pouch. That's where you're gonna stop and take the adhesive off. Just make sure that the bottom of the adhesive is right there at the edge. There is gonna be some slack and that's what you want. So I'm just gonna close that up and that gives us some a little bit of more slack and then just take this and shake that all the way down so the reason it was so important to do it that way is two things we need slack up here so we can put our cute little bag topper on plus now this doesn't have to be torn off nothing has to be disturbed to get the drink out they're just gonna simply open it from the bottom with the adhesive and take it out, and now this bag is still intact. So that's how I like to do these so they don't have to tear off that beautiful bag topper. Okay, so now we're gonna make our cute bag topper. So just grab the piece that we cut that measures four and one eighth by three, and you're simply just gonna fold this in half. This makes like an instant cute little bag topper, um, but I have these cute decorative scissors and I have a whole set of these. They're so handy if you don't want to use an edge punch or a die. And I'm going to make a cute little decorative edge. I did it on another one right here. You can see it makes it have like a cute little decorative edge. It's kind of hard to see. So I'm going to do that with these scissors right here. And I have a whole set of these. And um, I'll link them below because they're really, really handy. So I'm just gonna cut the edge with my cute scissors. And we're just gonna bring our bag over. And remember, this had some slack at the top. You're just gonna sandwich the plastic right in there between the paper. And you don't wanna take it down to where you're gonna disturb any part of the hot cocoa right there at the top. So we're gonna just take it just like this Make sure you're even. And then what you're gonna do is just staple this. I like to staple it on two sides. So I'm gonna go a little ways from the edge and I like to staple it about where the end of the hot cocoa is. A little ways up from the cute decorative edge, place a staple. So now this is on there really good. So to cover the staples, what we're gonna do is add some of this gorgeous seam binding and I just want you to see, this is the beautiful new fall collections over at My Scrap Cabin Shop on Etsy. It's such a beautiful Etsy shop, and I'm going to link it below along with a coupon code so you can go over and get her new fall collections. They're so gorgeous. Look at those beautiful colors. I pulled three colors, but I think I'm going to use these two, actually. And so the colors I'm using are Rust and old gold. If you were interested what this color was, it's called burnt orange. So I'm gonna take two pieces of seam binding in just a second, but first I'm just gonna get a hole punch. And what I'm gonna do is just punch a hole right above those two staples. So I'm gonna do a close up here. So here's the staple. I'm gonna take my hole punch and just punch it right above there on both sides.
just like that. So once you have the two holes, I'm gonna take around 20 inches of this seam binding. So let me find the end here. This is so beautiful and fluffy and vibrant. And I love fall colors so much. Okay, so I'm gonna do about 20 inches of seam binding. Just like loosely measure it. Don't pull it tight to measure it. Twist them together. So I'm just gonna feed this from the back through that hole, just like that. And then I'm gonna take the other two ends over here and do the exact same thing and feed them through that hole. And just make sure they're pretty even. And I'm just gonna tie a really nice fluffy bow. This is our adorable little fall drink treat pouch. So for the pricing, it's a bit of a trend considering the last couple of videos I believe were the same pricing, but we're gonna be charging $4 each or two for seven. So here's all our cute little pouches. Here's the one we made together. And I plan on making a bunch more. I'm so excited to be including these in my craft fair. I will probably also make a bunch of Christmas ones. And if I do, I'll definitely show you all those in my craft fair update. So stay tuned for the next video. I'm back doing my craft fair projects again. I was out of town for a little while for work obligations and I'm back where I wanna be crafting and getting prepared for my craft fair, which is in just about a month. I'm so excited and so I can't wait to share all the rest of the projects with you. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you in the next craft fair video. Bye.